There's two parts to this island. It's the northern village of Cumberland House and the reserve side, Cumberland House Cree Nation. The water is like our blood flow, is like the earth's blood flow. If our blood gets contaminated inside our body, then we get sick. And inside, like when you get sick, something inside fights, fights that that sickness and tries to make you better. Well, that's what's gonna happen to the earth someday. It's all this contamination that's happening in the water. Um, Mother Earth's gonna fight back. Hey, oh, hey. I was hired in, uh, in January 2012 at the University of Saskatchewan, uh, largely as part of a, a new initiative to um, better understand water security for Western Canada and the world. The Saskatchewan River Delta is the largest inland delta in North America. Many of the, the most famous deltas in the world are coastal deltas, so they're, they're rivers that empty out into oceans. So we might think of um, the Mississippi River Delta or the, the Nile Delta. But our delta is, is different because it's inland, so it's a river flowing into a lake. And where all the mud and silt and sediment that's being carried by the river starts to drop out. And the end result is a, a delta, a series of wetlands and, and lakes and river channels that makes for a really complex and interesting place for biology and for, for culture. When I was young, my granny, my granny used to take us to the Muskeg and we would gather clear water, like it was just pure water. She used to tell me stories about it. That's, she used to say down that stream, that's where like the purest water comes from. And it was because of the Delta, it was purifying the water. Till my mom took her instruments, her scientific instruments and just, destroyed my beliefs. I used to think that water was like the holiest of holy. Like I thought I found the fountain of youth. <laughs> yeah, they they even used to they used to ask me why I looked so young. <laughs> I used to say, it's the water. <laughs> and now it's not like that anymore. When I was young we used to swim in the water in the delta and it was clear you could see the sand. Now you you can't even see the sand anymore, it's just so dirty. And the kids, they, when they swim in the water, they come out with these, these bumps on their, on their stomachs. I just ask, I just don't know what's, what's happening to our, like, I know what's happening to our water, I just, I just wish it would stop. And who do I ask for all of this to, um, to stop? No one but the creator, I guess. There's work happening uh, throughout the basin from the Rocky Mountains right into Manitoba. One of the things that was obvious at the start was that we had a very limited understanding of the Delta, um, the Saskatchewan River Delta, despite its obvious importance biologically and, and culturally. Even though there's not a lot in the um, sort of the academic literature about this place, there is a lot of um, local knowledge uh, of some of the issues. The best understanding comes from people that live here and, and have um, hunted and fished and trapped these lands for, uh, for generations. What they see is that places that used to be wet are dry now. And if you think about any animal that ha that's dependent on the water, so obvious things like fish that need to live in water, but other less obvious animals like um, moose and deer and, and uh, muskrat and beaver that, you know, they're air breathers but they depend very much on the water. Perhaps it's not surprising that um, there are fewer of those animals now than there used to be. 
my grandma used to always take these uh, pictures. That's where I got my love of photography. So, uh, she used to take pictures of our family hunting, fishing. There's this one picture where my grandfather and my uncle, my late uncle Adam, they're holding this really huge sturgeon. And now you don't see the, those sturgeon anymore. You see small sturgeon. Or I hardly see any sturgeon because of the dam, because of the contamination. And of course the threats to the delta almost all originate upstream. So the things that um, uh, all the water resource development, the dams and the river, um, and the extraction of water um, for other purposes that uh, ultimately affect life down here. Saskatchewan is traditionally a, a drought province, so we're concerned about water scarcity uh, in Saskatchewan. Yet in recent years we've had some big floods. We're preparing for the future, my garden you tell us make us prepare for the future. And she said, like, you never know, tomorrow there might be a flood. <laughs> Since the last time you guys were here, we had to like get evacuated. I was taking grad pictures and then all of a sudden we have to evac. The whole community was like relocated to Saskatoon, Nipwin, PA, and my family just rented out a place in White Box. And so there was like 25 to 21 people, like 21 to 25 people that were in that house. Being told that, that, your, that your home is going to be wiped out, just leaving the island was like really hard. I had to give up my niece and nephew. I didn't have no money to take care of them. So I I had to like tell their worker like I can't take care of them. So when I asked those Nicha the Nichapanek Child and Services for help, they didn't give me help. But they were willing to take those kids away from me. And I can't feed him because I'm struggling just to pay stupid, just to live in this reserve. That evacuation did so much. We didn't have to leave this island. They All they had to do was fix that road, which we were like asking for for so many years. Fix this road so we can have safe travel.
dog. <laughs> for the dog. Go closer, go closer. Way, 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 Too often in the past, scientists will come, come to places and they'll do their study and they'll leave and never report back to the community. One of the nice things is we recently signed a research agreement. Um, so that involves um, the Charlebois School as well as um, the village, um, Northern Village of Cumberland House and Cumberland House Cree Nation. So it's the, the reserve and the town and, uh, and the University of Saskatchewan that are signatories on that. And all, all that out document outlines is that we want to work together. All I want to do is just save the land. I want to save it from the tar sands, I want to save it from the pipeline. And I'm slowly finding people like me. <laughs> it's really awesome. <laughs> I don't give up. I owe, I owe, I owe. Can you do it again? <laughs>